This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Dragon Warrior 2. I am pretty sure I took all three paths from this one. Yep. Now, this next one also has three. I just want to make sure I did all of these. Did that one. Got the helmet there. That's back to that one, yeah. And did I do the left one from here? Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah. There's one other monolith. I know I saw it already, and I don't think any of these have taken me to it. Probably gonna actually try to get there. What's the easiest, fastest way to get to it? Well, let's just take this so I can get back to my ship. I think there were golden doors in Antigo Castle, which was the main town from the first game, and in Charlock, which was the Dragon Lord's dungeon. But, the one down there, it's all the way at the bottom. And I remember, because I remember I didn't get anything out of it. Last time I went through it, and I was somewhat disappointed. And by not get anything, I mean it was stuff just like items, like Wings of the Wyvern, and Medical Herbs, and Money, I think. No unique items or, like, story stuff that I need. So I'm not gonna go to that one. I'll go back to Panagill. But, first of all, we're just gonna... This is kind of a long way around. But I'm just gonna kind of basically... wrap all the way around the world. Because the one I want to go to is actually on the northern... part... north... east of... Hall Castle. Except you need the ship to get to it, I'm pretty sure. Because it was on an, it was on an island. I saw it from the land when I did my early exploration, but we couldn't get to it then. And then there are three or four more locations that we can go that I want to check out. I mean, overall, there would be more than that, but... Yep, that was that shrine out in the middle of the ocean here. This? Oh, okay, this is that castle I actually warped to. I think they set it up with this stuff around the edges. That you actually can't approach it on ship. Because otherwise it's surrounded by mountains. So the warp I took to get there was the one south of... on the beach where you met the old man that talked about the keys south of Maidenhall. So... I'll need to go back there after I get the Jailer's key. Because there was a locked door there. Ah, Hawkman, that's a new one. Well, let's assume he's gonna be stronger than the Man of War. Try to take care of him first. Hopefully, maybe Orfeo can finish off the Hawkman now. Good. And I think we'll probably be getting... fairly close to being back by... the Han. Well, the lizard flies, we actually already fought them. Let's have her take care of them. Hopefully. Yeah, that's a pretty strong hit. We took him out pretty quickly, though.
Yeah, here we are. That was the cave where we had the Shrine of Bravery or whatever it was. Oh, I had mentioned that the enemies out in the ocean didn't seem to be getting tougher, but I guess they did have a few in store for me, yet. Maybe I could have encountered them at any time, I just hadn't. See if it was just a waste of time or if there's something. Well, hast thou found the Eye of Malroth? No. Once thou hast the moon fragment, thou may enter the island cave, for the Eye of Malroth is kept in darkness. Ah. The Eye of Malroth sees much that is not readily apparent. Use it in the swamp of the hidden valley. And perhaps thou shalt see a way to Roan. I believe Roan is like the area we gotta go to to get to Argon's place. So that's endgame type of stuff. Alroth's place, I believe, is in a cave in the middle of the ocean. But it's surrounded by the tides. But I guess with the moon fragment, we can actually go through that stuff. Or at least in that area we can. Okay, we got some new stuff here. We got Vampirus and Gargoyle. Well, let's try to have her take out them, because there's three of them. Probably won't be able to do it in a single spell. But at least we got some damage done on them. Should have had her use her spell, that's what I meant to do, and just kinda messed it up. God dang it. Oh shit. And I accidentally, I guess, let Orfeo die. I shouldn't have done that, because now I can't use this spell. That's kind of why I was keeping one of these. So, yes certainly still need to be careful in the middle of the ocean. Where was the healing guy in this place? Or did they not have one? This guy should do it. Yeah, thanks. Was there? Wouldn't think so. I guess I'm gonna carry a couple of ghosts with me to get to the next town. Hmm. Where do I want to go from here? I guess back to... Anagil. I'll 
probably stop at left wine because hopefully there somebody will be able to heal my party members. Maybe they didn't do it at the first castle because we didn't necessarily have other party members at that point. Uh, it seems kind of like an oversight to me. more to resurrect Orfeo than ah, I think I understand how the how the cost goes it's based on their level I think so it was times 20 basically because it was 280 for Orfeo and it was 200 for Peta so then it would be 320 for Hero I guess if that logic holds Tanagel, and then I think there's a tower where I can use the flute not too far from there. Or at least there's a tower there, and I'm assuming because they talked about it being used in a tower, and I don't think there are any other towers coming up. find a good place to do some leveling up too. I suppose just get closer to one of the end game areas. I think I can just go around here and stay in the ocean. Get my ship all the way to Tanagil. Somebody got a level up. Orfeo up to 15. Power, HP, and MP. A lot of encounters along here. I don't like a better attack spell. We've had Infernos for quite a while being our go-to here. Okay. Slug's gone, and hopefully this will get most of these guys, if not all of them. There we go. Wake up, hero. Good experience, though. I think I just need to head straight west after I get out of this area.
That should take me right over to it. Just about right in line with where I want to be too, I think. Most everything there. Yeah, called for help and it can. And then we had some weak hits. Got a treasure chest, copper sword, and quite a bit of money, and a lot of experience. That one's actually worth quite a bit. I don't know why it was worth so much. It seemed like they were anything that special. Alright, so everybody's got to level up fairly recently. Takes us right to it. Where was it? It was on the left. What did this guy do? Hmm. Wants to know about me if I'm cursed. This is a sewing shop, true, but I do not have the dew's yarn. Dost thou seek the dew's yarn too? Yes. Alas, I have mo no more of the dew's yarn, but I know where thou mayst seek some. For it is a substance made of wind and water, and it drifts along until it lands on the third floor in the north tower of the dragon's horn. Okay. I was hoping for treasure, but I I remember there being a good armor that you can end up making out of the Dew's Yarn, and it's actually something that helps for the princess, so... I'll probably go ahead and go try to get that here. to remember I think Erdrick's armor is something that we find farther along like I don't have access to it yet I think we might like get it on the way to the final dungeon or something or you can get it you probably don't have to get it asleep and woke up. Pretty sure that means that he misses his turn, though. We should be fine now. I do need to heal. Yeah, I mean, right now, fighting these guys has been pretty good as far as money and experience.
I'm gonna sail south out of here and then head west, get back to Leonport, and go back to that tower. I'll go back to Leonport to save it first. Just because we should be fine in the tower, but... I don't know. First time I climbed one of those, it was kind of a pain. But they said the third floor, too, so that's not... Not like it's at the top. I wonder if I could have got that before if I'd actually climbed that up. Climbed up that tower. Because I really didn't feel like going back up if it didn't seem like there was going to be treasure. And it didn't seem like it from the first floor, at least. But then it would have just been something clogging my inventory, probably, anyway. Okay, there's where the towers are at. To the left. Here we go. Let me get there already. These enemies are probably too strong to be scared away by the repel spell also. I guess I could try it. Although, I mean, generally I do want to still level up though too, so... enough to finish that one off. I don't think there are any gold key doors here. That silver one, right? My ship should still be parked outside, I think. Yeah. You know, I didn't save it at Tanago Castle, did I? That would have been pretty convenient, because then I could have just warped back there. Oh well. Not the end of the world. Get to go on the ocean and get some more experience. Alright, to the third floor. This one's different than the other one, I guess it's not the open floors in the middle. miss it? Maybe something you just have to search. yarn. Got it. And didn't even have to fight any enemies in there. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't have random encounters, or maybe I just got lucky. Well, I guess I don't have to sail all the way around here. Maybe, well, yeah, this worked out alright. Guess I take it back. I was saying I kind of messed up by not saving there, but... This will work just fine. Because I don't remember if she can make it straight from the dew's yarn or if I need something else too. Oh, 
find out shortly. Magic Drakies. Got a cure for that. As long as I hit them. So far, so good. Alright. We're almost here anyway. These are the guys that dance their jig and take away my MP. I don't like them. Show it to her. Well, I guess that's not just that. Maybe it means I do have to get another item with it. Or maybe she's not the one that can do it for me. Maybe she's just the one that told me where to get it. Possible. Right. There was also... The king hiding up here. Locked behind a door. So thou has come even here to this simple room. I cannot help thee. My hope fled long ago. I guess that just means there is no place to save it here. I did already have all this stuff I needed, right? Yeah. I was actually hoping that what we could do is I could save it here and then just use my spell of return to get my ship to warp back outside, basically. Wait, maybe one of these guys saved it for me. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Now, next time we're just gonna head, I think it's basically straight south of here. And there's a tower where we're gonna try to use that flute and get a crest, I think, from it, they said. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. And if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. And we'll catch you next time. <laughs>